out the computer was able to get it to reproduce the crazy numbers on the 6900 XT and the 6800 XT. Ironically, when I'm messing with Adobe Premiere, I'm working on a video for you guys. So what I've done here, you guys can see the 86 mega hash and 78 mega hash right now is what I'm getting on both of those. So this is where it's mining right now. So it's going to two miners. There's the address and that's the worker name. So I'm gonna retweet this address here in a second to you guys. We're gonna let it run. I'm gonna let this run for a bit. I got it tweaked on in some settings to try to keep the junction temperature in that down. So I got clocks, you know, set appropriately. I got fans kicked up to keep it where I can still do some work. You can still see it's popping 86. So you guys check that address. We're gonna let it run for a little bit and we're gonna see what it says on the pool side. Let's take a look at the reality though. So this has been running for about 28 minutes, showing 86 mega hash and 78 mega hash on the 6900 and the 6800. But the reality is letting this run on a pool and you guys can see the actual address itself. It's showing that I'm getting 128 mega hash. Now this has been running for 30 minutes. I'm gonna let it run for more, but for the purpose of this video and the recap of, you know, is the 6900 and the 6800 are they able to actually break into what this is saying they're doing 164 mega hash the reality right now is looking like they're both doing about 64 65 which is representative here in the pool that it was a good awesome it doesn't prevent me from not being happy about camping for it i really wanted the 6900 xt and it was totally worth that camp out however the promise of trying to get 80 plus mega hash and be competitive in the mining side as the nvidia cards as of right now it does not look like they are um that's okay they are cheaper than the nvidia uh versions not so much the 6900 compared to the 3080 however the bus difference between 256 bus on the 6900 XT and the 320 bit bus from the 3080 and 384 bit bus from the 3090 kind of tell that story. So you have a lot more memory bandwidth so you can have faster hash rates. Not as much for the GDDR6X versus GDDR6. I think it has a lot more to do with the bus bandwidth than anything else. Hang out. We're going to be doing a lot more testing with this. Kapow and a few of the other algorithms out right now can now be mined with this. And I still think there's quite a bit of uncorking that can occur provided AMD gets these drivers set and we can start seeing what Infinity Cache will do with like the Kekka routine and that kind of thing. So thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe and we'll catch you guys on the next one.